Car driving games have been blowing up on Roblox recently, so I thought it would be a good idea for me to make my first car driving game in 24 hours and as a beginner with zero experience. First thing I did was open up Blender because to make a car game you need cars. And Blender is the best app for making 3D models. The car I was making was a Toyota Supra and I was using this tutorial I found. And after spending a few hours on this I gave up because I spent a lot of time and the only thing I made was a stupid hood that did not even look good. I moved on to plan B which was making a low poly car. A low poly car is basically a car that is less detailed so it should be easier to make, right? I found a different tutorial for making low poly cars and after spending an hour or so making it, it looked horrible but it felt finished so I imported it into Roblox Studio where the rest of the work was gonna happen and let's just say it did not go according to plan. Of course I still had a plan C. I started making the car in Roblox Studio itself using the little Roblox blocks I had, which meant it might look lego -y a bit, but at least it's easier for me. After spending less than an hour on this, I did make this car, which of course doesn't look too great, but I was proud of it. It looks cute, and it was also easy to customize to add like least lights or whatever if I wanted to add more variants, which was great. However, when I decided to rig up the car to a chassis plugin on Roblox, studio it just completely broke the tires had like broken bones or something because they were 90 degrees away from where they should be and now we had to move on to plan d which was the final plan but before we move on to this plan d a word from today's sponsor g park is a sandbox platform where everyone can join in-game spaces created by people around the world or build a world of their own to make their wildest imagination come true it's a great place to socialize with other people and you have a lot of options in terms of avatar customizations you can literally be whoever you want to be i even managed to find this awesome racing game on it where you can race or crash into other people and you have a big selection of cars to choose from download g park now using the link in the description or by scanning the qr code you see on the screen right now thank you to g park for sponsoring this video and let's get back to our final plan and of course this was the final plan because it just meant taking the cars from the roblox studio i took four cars from the roblox toolbox which is free to use to anyone it's like basically anyone can upload cars to them and the cars i took was a clio 3 a clio 4 a bmw and an audi rs6 and now that we finally have working cars it's time to do other stuff. now it was time to get to the hardest part first thing i did in terms of scripts was just tune the cars because of the a chassis plugin you can simply just change numbers and it makes cars behave differently and i think i sort of figured it out after a bit even though I'm not the greatest car tuner. And now it was time for one of the most important features in this game, which is if you drive, you should get money. And that's when I went on to YouTube and thankfully a lot of people try to make driving games. So I found a bunch of tutorials that show how you can make a script that does this. And after trying out a couple of vids, the first one didn't work. The second one worked perfectly. And I was making that cash money driving my cars around the base plate of course making money and having no use for it would be useless literally so that's when i needed to make another system or script that gave you the ability to purchase cars so you would start with the cheapest car and you would grind your way up to the best car and that's when things got complicated hard annoying and i almost oofed myself i found a tutorial that showed you how to make a car buying system but the thing is the money systems needed to be saved basically we needed the same money system that we had for the driving to work with the car buy-in and when i first did this i didn't like try to sync them and it was broken and i almost gave up and i had to take a break and nap but i did come back and i kept trying and trying and trying and nothing worked i even asked chat gpt to help me and it kind of sort of tried to help and made slight 
progress, but in the end, it just didn't work. So I ended up asking one of my nerd friends who's a scripter to help me with this, and they did actually, like, in 15 minutes, the entire thing surprisingly started working. And we had a game that could compete with Drive and Empire or Drive World. We had a system that gave you money for Drive and which you can use to buy better cars to get more money to buy even better cars and be the richest human on earth. But of course, now that we have cars, we have cars that work and we have money that you can use to buy cars, we needed another thing, which is where you can actually drive those cars. Of course, I had different options. I could have gone for like a realistic big map or maybe like a low poly big map or a realistic small map with high graphics, which would need lots of work. I was thinking like low poly something, maybe just making roads and blocky buildings, but I was worried that wouldn't be fun. And I thought the most optimal and easiest solution for me was looking up a city map in the Roblox toolbox and just picking whatever came up first. And that's exactly what I did. That's how I came up with this little city map that had the steepest hills in existence that actually helped us with something later on. And it was super small but goofy and I, I think it was good enough for driving and I really liked it. And it also meant that our game was ready for launch. Oh my god, okay, we're so I did add car spawners here. This took a little bit of time, but it works perfectly. And all you need to do is walk over them and it should spawn the car. Yeah, there you go. That's the Clio 3. The carbine still works, I'm pretty sure. We are gonna test it with more people in a little bit. This is I'm pretty sure this is my favorite car out of the cars we have, mainly due to the engine sound. You can see we have some hills here which are quite useful because it means the people who have the worst car, which is the Clio 3, will not be able to get up the hill. So they're limited to this part of the map. And until they can afford a better car and you can see this map is actually pretty cool oh my god okay the brakes are horrible stop oh ow okay well we already ha had our first big crash and i think this game is ready for people to try it so I sent out the game to a couple of channel members that you can see actually joined and they managed to buy the car. So everything was working. They were able to drive the cars. I was proud. However, some mobile players did join and nothing works on mobile for some reason. And I'm not gonna bother fixing that. I did get Velvet in the car with me to test if it would give him money if he sat in the car with me and it did not. And we managed to recreate this crash, which I'm not gonna comment on. Also, some people started giving me criticism for some reason. And like, let's just say, this this was the best game, so you don't need to give the best game criticism. Obviously, I'm just joking. And after playing for a little bit, Tornado actually managed to find this lounge in the game, which is pretty cool. You can just hang out with your friends here. You don't even need to drive. And I think that's a pretty cool feature of this map. I didn't, I didn't even know it existed until this guy played, so I think that's very cool. And the game was pretty much ready. I was thinking of just making it private and not releasing it, just and just keeping it a game for the video, but I thought some of you might want to just try how goofy it is i mean i'm not gonna update it or anything but i did add a profile picture for the game i did call it the best driving game on the roblox and add a very realistic thumbnail that doesn't look anything like the game it's gonna be public if you guys want to try it out so i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description also there's gonna be a link to download g park in the description which you guys should definitely check out a big thank you to them once again for sponsoring this video and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos and i'll see you next time goodbye